Hello there. What the hell is that? Oh, don't mind me, Doug. I'm just, you know, coming out of a portal. So, how does that work? So, opening a portal is really pretty simple, as long as you've got the sling ring. So, let me show you. So, say I want to talk to Hashi over at Action Movie Kid slash Action Movie Dad. All I have to do is just hold on my hand like this, concentrate, and really think about where I want to go, and there we go. Portal open. Hey, Hashi. Hey. Doug? Just using you for an example, opening a portal to Doug. I've actually got a really important question for Doug. If he wouldn't, I, I, I where, uh... Sorry. Wow. Do you have any idea what this means, dude? We could literally go anywhere we want. The top of Mount Everest, the pyramids, Disneyland, or maybe that strip club near the airport. Hey, dude, check it out. I'm taking a crap. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And that's right, if you saw the short, you know we're doing the Doctor Strange Portal effect this week. And this is another one of those effects that has been done a buttload of times on YouTube. So why are we doing it now? Well, funny you ask that, but before we get into that, I just want to give a big thank you to Hashi over Action Movie Kids slash Action Movie Dad for guest starring in this week's episode. Now gang, I have no doubt that even if you haven't heard of Hashi himself, you've seen his amazing action movie kid videos floating around the internet. I mean, they have millions of views. You may have also seen him hosting tutorials for Red Giant, including his recent two-part series on Aquaman effects that are truly redonkulous. He is a very talented fella, and I very much hope to work with him again in the future. You can check out his channel by clicking the card above, and all his social media info is down below. He is worth following on Twitter, guys. He is golden. So once again, thank you, Hashi. You're an absolute legend. Now, guys, as I said before, this portal effect has been done a buttload of times on YouTube. Some are good and some are bad. And for me personally, I was trying to develop it in Cinema 4D to make a full 3D portal, and the results were, let's just say, mixed. My God. So I kind of just put this one on the back burner and I thought, you know, we'll tackle it at some other point in time. And that's kind of the way things were until I came across a channel called CG Visuals. Zach over there has a ridiculous amount of expertise when it comes to Trap Code Particular. And last month, he actually built a Doctor Strange portal rig in Trap Code Particular and it is by far the best representation of a Doctor Strange portal effect that I have ever seen. Zach over at CG Visuals has made some balls out awesome tutorials on water bending, fire bending, and of course the aforementioned Doctor Strange portal and many others. His channel is criminally underrated and I wanted to use the film learning platform to showcase his work because quite frankly, he deserves it. Zach's portal was extremely easy to both work with and to customize to suit my needs as I wanted to change the way it opened. So after a little bit of back and forth, I was able to modify the opening from this to this. Now guys, I am barely scratching the surface on just how cool this portal is, so I highly encourage you to click the card above, check out Zach's portal tutorial, download it if you have particular, and have a play for yourself because you will be amazed. So guys, if you want to check out Zach and the CG Visuals channel because they have some awesome content, just click the card above my head right now. Now gang, in order to complete this effect, first of all you will need a sling ring. This is just one I bought from Wish.com, I think it cost about $4. You don't really need this, but it does help to sell the effect just a little bit. Now if you've decided to come out of the portal, you'll also need to shoot yourself on a green screen just walking towards camera I guess, or just pretending to walk out of a portal. I don't know, do what you want to do. On top of that, you need to shoot a background plate of what's going to be behind you, and also a background plate of what's going to be inside your portal. Now, if you're going to open a portal to someone like I did with Hashi here, all you need to do is just shoot them acting towards the person that's going to be looking at them through the portal, if that makes sense. Now for this, I actually shot Doug and myself on a green screen, then put in the background plate, and then put in Hashi's footage over the top, and then put in the portal over the top of that. Now, here are a few of you say, Grant, I don't have trap code particular, so I'm kind of screwed here. Well, you're not screwed at all, guys, because if you head to filmliner.com, 
slash downloads, I've actually done several 4K renders of the portal opening, the portal idle, and at a couple of different angles. And each of these downloads are actually individual download links. So you're not downloading a huge pack. Having said that, each one of these is still a monster download. They're like at least two gig. So sorry about that, but they are 4K, so you've got a lot more room to work with. But if you do have Trapco Particular, guys, I highly encourage you to head to the CG Visuals channel, once again, card above my head, and download the rig from there. Because if you do that, you'll be able to move this thing completely in 3D space and suit your shot however you like. Apart from that, that's all you need, guys. So let's get to work, shall we? Okay, guys, here we are in After Effects, and I have two shots set up in a comp and ready to go. Now, if you've seen any of these portal effect tutorials on YouTube, the steps to opening and closing the portals to a different area is pretty much the same in every one of these. There really isn't an easier or different way to accomplish the effect, just a different way to maybe compose it all. It's mainly just masking and keying to make the final result. And the real key to making this effect look cool, it's just having a portal effect that looks really twit. And thanks to Zach at CG Visuals, we have that. Once again, guys, if you have Trapcode Particular installed in your version of After Effects, I highly encourage you, nay, implore you to check out his channel and download his portal. Now, today we're going to be using my 4K renders of said portal, just so preview and cache to life is a little bit easier. Now, let's get into it. <coughs> so, I have my first shot here with Doug and I at the forefront, all keyed out, and of course, my amazingly bad hand movements. Seriously, guys, I don't know what I was doing. I shot this at 5 a.m., and I was too tired to go for authenticity, I guess. We then have Hashi at his desk turning around, and if I turn that off, you can see underneath that I have my background plate. So our first step here is to grab our Portal 1 shot from the download pack that contains our Portal opening animation, and we'll go ahead and drop that in under our keyed actors and change the transfer mode to screen. Okay, let's now position and scale that portal into place. In this case, we're using the portal that includes a floor interaction, so let's make sure that it's level with the ground and that looks pretty good, done. If you need to make this 3D to suit your shot, just to adjust it, go for it. Let's now head to the end of the comp where the portal is fully open and let's position Hashi's footage in the best place that we can. This includes scaling it or rotating it if you'd like as well. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's blend this footage in with a little bit of masking. Let's head up to the pen tool, only this time we're gonna grab the ellipse tool and let's draw a circle mask around Hashi's footage, like so, and adjust it into place. Let's then hit F, there we go, and we're gonna feather this thing out anywhere from 25 to 50 pixels, depending on your shot. We can then scrub through the timeline until we see our portal begin to shrink about here. We can then hit the stopwatch on mask path, mask expansion, and feather. We can then move backwards through the comp adjusting the mask expansion, and if you need to, the position, to marry up with the portal animation shrinking. Now, as the portal goes from being a complete circle to nothing, I also increase the feather slightly to reflect the idea that as the portal opens, the destination begins to materialize. So, let's check out a preview of that. That looks pretty good, and let's face it, that was very little effort, guys. Now to sell the idea that the portal is, well, a big flaming circle in the room, I'm also going to duplicate that portal, drag it up on top of everything, we'll then head to Effect, Blur and Sharpen it and add a Fast Blur. We're going to crank that way up so we get a nice spread of color all the way over our shot. We'll then follow it up by hitting T to bring up our opacity settings, and we're going to lower that to around 40% so it doesn't overwhelm the frame and you can't really see what it is. It's just a big orange glow. Okay, let's check out a preview of that. Nice, that shot looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the second shot, guys. Here we have myself coming out of the portal and the portal closes in behind me. Now, if I turn off Grand, you can see we've gone through the exact same situation, but in reverse. Instead of the portal opening, it's closing. So you can see that if I solo the portal background layer, and reveal the animation, you can see that the mask expansion goes down as the portal shrinks. Hmm. But since we did our previous portal mask animation in reverse, this pretty much looks like the exact same process. Nearly. The only difference with this one is, I didn't increase the feather as it was closing. Now, obviously guys, if you want your actor to walk out of the portal, 
they have to be filmed on a green screen to add the portal behind them. Or you can just torture yourself by doing rotoscoping. And yeah, oh no, I love doing rotoscoping. <coughs> now gang, some other cherries that I added on top was a subtle bit of color grading. You'll be able to see that when I'm closer to the portal, I'm bathed in an orange and the exposure's turned up a little. And as I walk away, you can see that, that coloring fades as well as the exposure goes back down to normal. This just helps to sell the illusion that I was standing in something very bright and as I walk away from it, that light fall off fades away. On top of that, I also used an iteration of Red Giant Primate Kia Light Wrap to add some fall off glow from the portal to my shoulders and just around the edges of me. Now guys, if you don't have this because it is a paid plugin, don't you worry. The boys over at Production Crate do have you covered. They have a free Light Wrap plugin on their website, so just go ahead and click that link in the description and thank me later. And make sure you thank them too. Now guys, if you are interested, I think I'm gonna tackle some more advanced portal effects, such as incorporating them into a moving shot, or having someone emerge from a side shot, or say, having someone walk all the way through one in, say, a continuous shot. But for now, I just wanted to tackle the basics because I think this looks pretty cool and it's very easy to do. And that, my friends, is another shot Done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Think about where I want to go and there we go. Portal open. So guys, that is mine, but mostly Zach from CG Visuals take on the Doctor Strange portal effect. As you can see guys, Zach has done all the hard work for us, so it's really not that hard to composite the portal in the shot and make it look really, really cool. But for now guys, that's all I've got for you. Now you've got plenty of time to head over to CG Visuals and subscribe to that highly underrated channel because Zach is awesome. But say you're sticking around for 30 more seconds, please smash that like button, I really do appreciate it guys. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learned episode. I've got two other episodes of Doctor Strange Effects right over here, my social media crap above my head, including the Patreon info right here, or you can hit that join button below if you want to support film learning right here on YouTube. But until I see you again guys, keep learning.